So I told her I was going to wait for you. So this is part two of the redefining intimacy for your purpose and for the time and the season that we're in right now. Everything, if not all things except the word of God, need to be re redefined. The way we do things as people, we have to redefine it. So, and that the redefining and looking into, into me. So we were saying earlier that we have to start to look inside of us to strengthen us so that we can be useful in time like this. I said earlier that even though right now my dad passed on two weeks ago and there is just so much uncertainty up in the air right now as to whether we're going to have a funeral at the end of April or when we're going to have a funeral service. Uh, because of the world, what's going on right now, right? Here in the States, there's family, there's kids here in the States, and we're not sure, who's, we, we're not sure what's going to happen. So we're like waiting. So while we're waiting, what should Marsha do, right? There's a lot of things that Marsha has to do, right? So... One of the things that I am doing right now is a challenge with Lisa Nichols where we're doing this challenge of um, 30 days of diet of possibilities. And one of the things that I'm going to share with you today as we redefine intimacy to looking into me is the mirror exercise. So the mirror exercise has three parts. The first uh, part, as I know you, I was waiting for you to go get your pen. So the first part is... Um, is, is saying to yourself what you're proud of the second part is saying to yourself what you're forgiving yourself for and the third aspect is you're saying to yourself what you are committing to do and this is all about you right now because you have to look into you so you can threaten you to be present and to serve in this new season Right? So the first thing you want you to do, the first part is to tell yourself, look in the mirror, and you can, you can you, we're doing this um, in the challenge that we're doing, we're doing this uh, before we go to bed, right? So you get in the bathroom and you are wherever your mirror is, and you stand before your mirror, and you're going to tell yourself seven times, seven times, what you're proud of you for. So for example, for me, what I'm proud of myself for would be, you. it would go something like this. Marsha, in front of my mirror, you can record this if you want and you can, you know, probably share it with someone else or if you like, we can, you can join me in the challenge. So, what I'm proud of myself for. So it goes something like this. Marsha, I am proud of you that even though you are mourning, mourning the loss of your dad right now, you have so much grit and courage and determination to show up positively for yourself, for your, your family, and for your community. Marsha, I'm so proud of you that in spite of the season we are in right now, you remain adamant that God is with us and that we're going to get over this season just like every other L season. Marsha, I'm so proud of you that you take the time out to reach out to fr fam uh, friends and families and to your community. Marsha, I'm proud of you that in spite of all the gifts that you receive wrapped in sandpaper, that you were able to come out on the other side be more pos uh, positive and more productive than you were before. Marsha, I'm so proud of you that you were able to stand up in the midst of chaos and see possibilities. Marsha, I'm so proud of you that in this season, you find, you make sure that you have something to give. Marsha, I'm so proud of you that you aren't caving in and worrying, but you're stepping out there and you're empowering. So that's what it would look like for you. Seven things that you are proud of you for. The 
The second part of the mirror exercise, as you stand here and look in the mirror, is seven things that you are forgiving yourself for. And let it flow. Let it flow because, you, you know, just be real with you. Get in the bathroom, turn the water, the shower on, and, you know, if you want to record, you record it. But if, you're not, if you don't feel comfortable right now, that's totally fine. And you just be real with you because I can tell there's a lot of stuff that we need to forgive ourselves for. So for me, it would go something like, Marsha, I, for, I, I forgive you. I forgive you for the times when you let what people say define you. Marsha, I forgive you for the times when you feel like you weren't good enough. And as a result of that, you make choices that was not, was, that, that was not loving for you. Marsha, I forgive you for the times when you, you never take the time to understand who you are or who the people around you and the things that they mean to you. Marsha, I forgive you. I forgive you for not loving yourself as you are too. Marsha, I forgive you for the times when you let your emotion and your ego get in the way. Marsha, I forgive you. For not showing up powerfully in your relationship as you are qualified to do. Marsha, I forgive you for letting fear take the better of, of you. I forgive you for not making um, godly decisions. So that's what it will look like for you. Whatever flows in your spirit that you need to forgive yourself for, go for it. And the third part of the mirror exercise as you stand there and look yourself in the mirror... Close the bathroom, close the door so you have no distraction and you let it out freely. The, set, the third part is to tell yourself seven things that you're proud of yourself. Not, I'm sorry, not proud. Seven things that you are committing that you will do. So for you, it, you know, so listen to mine. This is how mine will go. Uh, Marsha, I am committing to you that in this season... I am going to, you are going to see all the beauty there is in this season. Marsha, in this, I am committing to you that in this season, I am going to show up powerfully. Marsha, I'm committing to you that in this season, I am going to speak. Marsha, I'm committing to you that in this season, I am the voice for the voiceless. Marsha, I'm committing to you that in this season, I'm going to use this medium or other mediums to bring positivity to other people. Marsha, I'm committing to you that in this season, all this, the struggles and the, and, and the stuff that I've been through, which have strengthened me, it has strengthened me for this season. As a result, I'm going to use the strength that I'm going to build on what I have. So, I want you to do this challenge with me the mirror challenge do this for seven days seven nights and if you feel like you want to do it in the day whenever you want to do it you want to jump in front of the mirror you want to release some stuff you're going to be surprised at some stuff that comes up try and see if you can go all the way back to when you were a little girl or when you was a teenager or, you know if it depends on where you're at go, go back go 20 years back and that's what our coach reminded us to do go 20 years back right and go deep into you redefine intimacy for you in this season that this is a season of doing things differently and i love it right and things are different things are working out right now school is is pivoting to the moment or churches are you know everything is like it's working its way into into the season so let's turn Let's redefine intimacy to fit us so we can look inside, deep inside and get intimate with you, with me, so that we can show up powerfully in this season for the people that uh, need us most. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook and we're going to be doing a lot more of this motivation because this is a season for it i read something there they have all this stuff that's happening and you know people's people are losing it and oh, 
I prayed. I prayed. It's, it's one thing to pray, but it's also another thing to take action. And this is one of my commitments, that I'm going to be committing to be the voice that God wants me to be. How about you?